All right, folks, today we are going to actually start painting, which I know we're all super excited about. Please listen as I go over the painting rules and the painting procedures in the art room for super duper painting etiquette. After we go over those, I will show you our wonderful demonstration of what we're doing today. Okay. Very first thing we're going to do is we're going to need our pencil before we start painting. And what we need to do is we need to divide our paper up into five, only where there's the background. Okay, so I'll start. One, two, three, four, and five. If it helps, I can also number these spaces so I know where things are going to go. Very easy. Okay, so if everyone can do that, we will then pause the video and Miss Fiorella will then show you the next thing to do. Okay, we're going to first start with our base color. This means that we are starting with the color that we have not added anything to yet. Okay, we've not added any white, we have not added any black. For me, this color that I chose was purple. I'm going to get that color and I'm going to find the section that has number three, our very, very middle section. And I'm going to carefully start painting. And when I paint, I want to make sure to go in one direction. And it is okay if it gets off a little bit of the paper. Okay. It is also okay if it gets a little bit on the spots that we were going to paint black because we'll just paint that over. So as you can see, I'm going around, going around everything, okay? I'm careful, but I know that if I paint it over anything that is supposed to be black, that I can fix that later, okay? So I have my base color finished. So I am now gonna put my base color down. And I will give you a moment to do that. So everybody do your base color. And as soon as you're done, I should see brushes in the water. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to start by adding what is called a tint. A tint is any color plus white. So any color that you mix white into, kind of like Easter egg colors or pastels. We always start with the lightest, the lightest tint and work our way down because the goal is that somewhere in between the thousands of colors that you have and the thousands of colors of common color combinations that exist, you will get your base color eventually. So the base color is always in the middle. We start with our lightest tint. So I have right now, just to show you how to mix, I have a little bit of purple with a lot of white. So I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna stir and I'm gonna keep stirring until it's no longer streaky, which means I shouldn't see any streaks of white or purple anywhere. It should look nice and smooth, okay? So it's looking pretty smooth now. So I'm gonna find my number one and same thing, I'm going to paint it in one direction and it is okay if it gets over some of the things I'm painting, okay? But I have that done. So I'll give you a minute to paint your first stripe. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab my second one. This one has, you can see, more purple and less white. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stir it up. Stirring, stirring, stirring. So it's not streaky anymore. And you can see that this one is a little bit darker than the last one. So we have a darker tint than the last one. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get that now. And where I have my number two, I'm gonna be really careful. And again, I'm gonna paint so that it fills in. And we know that these are not big areas, so it shouldn't take us too long to fill in. I'm gonna be careful and my paint's going on nice and smooth in one direction, okay? So there's my tint number two. So we have our lightest, a little bit darker, our base color, and now we're gonna go into our shades. So if a tint is any color plus white, a shade is the opposite. So a shade would be any color plus 
you guessed it, black. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to find the color that's going to be a little bit, just a little bit darker. So this one would have a lot of purple and a little bit of black. And I know it's hard to see on the screen, but there's just a little black and there's a whole bunch of purple. So same thing that I did with the white, I'm going to stir it up for my shade. Okay, and it's going to look very, very dark. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint where it has number four. But it's really, really dark. And I am noticing that it's going to be super, 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 super dark, almost black. So I'm thinking that to fix this, and this is just something we only find out when we've actually started painting. And to fix this, because it is too dark for my liking, that's not what it's supposed to look like. I'm just going to quickly do a Miss Fiorella fix. So this step is not a you do. This step, step is a Miss Fiorella does only. And I'm just going to add a little bit more purple to it, which makes it a little bit less black. So if yours is too dark, st we'll stop the video, we'll raise our hands, and Miss Fiorella co will come around and fix it. Okay, on the screen this is going to look black, but in front of Miss Fiorella it is very purple. Okay. So now that that step is done, okay, you guys are now going to paint in that very first shade, that very first of your color mixed with black. Then we're going to move on to the last one, which is going to be very, very dark, even darker than that. So your last cup should have more black than your other color. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint it and it's going to look pretty black. Which is totally fine. If it's looking too black, so say you're using a light color and it's just like, wow, that's a lot of black. That's not okay. Raise your hand. And again, I'll come over and fix it doing this little trick that I showed you earlier. No big deal. Painting is all about making mistakes and mixing and trying to figure out what works best. Okay. So no worries. We'll get to where we need to be. As soon as you have finished all one, two, three, four, five colors, your two tints and your two shades, we're going to put our brushes in the water, we're going to stop, and we're going to get ready to get our work on the drying rack. Okay.